what was that? Well, follow along today and I'm gonna tell you. It's actually a sewing tool and one that I use a lot. And more specifically, you're going to use it when you're pattern drafting and creating patterns from scratch. And it's called a tracing wheel, but I like to call it a pinwheel because if you look real close, the tips of these little spots are super sharp. And this tracing wheel is not to be confused with the blunt tracing wheels. And you can see the edges on these are much duller. This one is completely dull in the round circle. And you're going to use these when you're tracing wax paper or carbon paper. The first thing this is most commonly used for is transferring internal marks on a pattern to a piece of paper that you're pattern drafting. So maybe you need to trace this out and you wanna do some alterations to it. You can use the pinwheel to go right through the paper to your new piece of paper. You're going to run into this when you're pattern drafting something for yourself or maybe you're altering a store-bought pattern. This pattern here is gonna be our sample and we need to transfer this horizontal line here, we need to transfer this pocket marking, and we need to transfer the dart to the pink paper down below. And we also need to do the perimeter, which is super easy. So for the perimeter, you can just drag your pencil right along the outside of the pattern. But those inside lines can be a little tricky. And if we want to get them exactly where they are on this pattern, you want to use your pinwheel. Go ahead and push through your paper pattern. I'm going to do the dart first. We got one dart leg, two dart legs. Now you are seeing those little perforations in the paper. We're going to do our pocket opening. Now we're going to do this horizontal bust line. And here's the magic. When we remove this pattern, now you can see all the dots in the paper and we can go back with our ruler and pencil and trace them out. So now you can see the dots in the paper and we're gonna go over them with our ruler and our pencil. So we are going to line up our ruler with the dots and we are going to draw in that line and it's gonna be in the same spot that it was on the other pattern because we went right over it with our pinwheel tracing wheel. And there we go, we've got the same pattern transferred. The second main use for the pattern drafting pinwheel here is transferring some markings you've made on fabric. It could be a muslin, it could be a mock-up garment you have. And let's say, you know what? You wanna take it in a little bit on the hips like I have here on this skirt, and you wanna transfer it to your pattern so that way, every time you cut out your skirt, it's gonna fit perfect. Well, you can go through multiple layers of fabric with this pinwheel and transfer all of your alterations to the paper. Let me show you how. So this A-line skirt right here, I want to take it in just a little bit in the hip. So I've pinned it exactly where I want to take it in. I've got my pattern laid out under it, and I've got it lined up right where it should be. And now what we're going to do is take the pattern pinwheel, and we're going to go in right where those pins are. Now this one, I usually just go ahead and stick it through the pins are, move it around a little bit. We don't have to do a continuous line because we can connect our dots later. So that's all I did, just pushing right through both layers of the fabric. And when we remove the fabric, you can see the dots here on the paper. So we're going to follow all of these dots with our ruler, and we're gonna know exactly how much paper we need to take off of this pattern. So I'm going to draw these in just so I can see them a little better. So that's where my three pins were. And now I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm gonna line up my ruler with those spots so that way I can take in my pattern. So we want to blend from here down into the hips. Maybe we want to go a little further here. There we go. So now I've hit all of those spots where the pins were, and now I need to blend back up into my waist. And there we go. So now I need to chop off this whole chunk of paper here. So with this pinwheel, I was able to take in my pattern exactly where I had the pins pinned on me in my garment, and I didn't even have to remove the pins. 
So as you can see, this is a super useful tool for working with patterns and doing alterations. So if you don't have one, I highly suggest you add it to your tool. Might look a little scary and intimidating, but soon it's gonna be your best friend. Thanks so much for watching Snowy Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the tracing wheel, pin wheel, scary little tool that's gonna be your best new friend. If you have any questions on it, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video today, give it a thumbs up and leave it a comment. And let me know what videos you wanna see next down below in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber to Soy Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you. And if you're in Chicago, stop on into the studio and take a sewing or design class with me. You can sign up at sewingastasia.com. And don't forget to follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all the social, so that way we can stay connected and creative together. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.